Okay, so I got cut off the first time. So I guess nine, ten minutes is like the max I can get in a show. So I'm guessing I'm gonna have to make this quick. But like I was trying to say in the beginning, it was like, do you think like I should move to Virginia and like take the risk of like find out this this is some bullshit? Now the job is to sell magazines. You go door to door and sell magazines, and I guess. We we stay in one city for like two weeks or a month or whatever, and we we move around for eight to ten months out of the year, and we stay in hotels. I gotta share my room with five other niggas. i excuse my French. Five other guys. Yeah, I really have privacy. I don't know about that bar. I really didn't when I went to school. I really didn't so much like the dorm. I mean, luckily my roommate was somebody I knew from school, so I mean. But I really didn't like that either, so. But, I mean, that's the one question I really do need to know. Like, do you think, like, I should go or no? Oh, and the one question I really need a response back from. Because this helps out a lot. Because this can help me with my friends. If... You're like, okay, if you're the guy on the side or whatever, and you know kind of the relationship, it's like, you tell me first, number one, would you put your feelings into it or no? Number two, when you do got your feelings into it and you know he has a boyfriend, would you stay around to try to stay with him? I don't know if I asked that question earlier or not, but I'm going to ask it again. But would you try to stay around for him or her or whatever? Would you wait? Or would you like let it go? And like because and I ask these questions because like my my other friend came up to me today and he asked me for his help and like a word of advice. And like I really wanna know an opinion on like what do you think? What would you do? Like because, like, his issue was that, like, he doesn't feel like he's loved by his significant other anymore. Like, he doesn't feel like that bond, like, that's that just, like, that we're in a relationship. Like, like that you love me feeling it, that you would get from your other, I guess. I guess his other doesn't do that. So, like, my, 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 my natural thought would be, like, Based on experience from the shit I know that goes on, I would either. I I mean I I would let it go. I would go. I would move on because it's only so much bullshit you can put up with. But I really need to know like, what would you do? I really not trying to put too much out there because like I want to put their business all out there. But like, just to give out like a few things, his boyfriend makes me feel like he's not sure. Like, like. He feels like his boyfriend is just using it. Oh shit, I'm just gonna say boyfriend. That's the liquor. It ain't supposed to be drinking. <laughs> but, I mean, that's like one of the issues they really have. And, I don't know, like, I, I try to do the best I can as being their counselor, which they just voluntarily made me. Which I think I really need to get paid for because like they're always calling me at like six o'clock in the morning, crying, telling me or texting me during the day, so like, I'm sick of this shit. What do I do? I need this and blah 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 blah. Like and like I can only tell them like based on like what I think. See, would I would I be wrong for telling them on what I would do or what I think they should do? I mean because like I'm kind of friends with him and his boyfriend. So, like, would it be like I'm asking this? Would it be like I'm taking side to add to say something for one person on what they should do? Would it be like I'm taking side? That's the question I really need to know. But I, I really don't like this one. <laughs> I don't know why. It's like. But, 
me being the person I am, I can't do nothing but keep it honest with them. And that's what I would expect you to do for me. It's like keep it honest with me and tell me what do you think like I should tell this person. And what do you think I should do like, with the whole Virginia thing? Do you think I should like take a chance on going to Virginia or not? Like my whole thing is like we're leaving tomorrow. My mom's birthday is next week on the twenty fifth. Yes, go Capricorn. I'm a Capricorn. I really don't like it, <laughs> but I need to be here for my mom's party. She's turning sixty, the big sixty. That's like that's like a big thing for me and her. Like my mom is turning sixty. That's like the big deal. This is the woman who gave me life. I can't miss that. I, I really can't. And I don't know how they feel about that. I mean, I really want to let them know, like, man, my mom was turning six, and I really got to be here for that. But I don't want to go to Virginia and then have to come all the way back, and then have to go all the way back. And plus, I really want to be down here for the 4th of July. But do you think, like, I'm trying to put my life before a job and money? Or I'm trying to have fun before a job and money, and I should go for the job? Or do I need to at least be here for my mom? But, I don't know. I really I really wish somebody would help me with that. Because I really, when I got home today, I really felt lost and confused. Like, I don't know what to do. And, I felt confused about a lot of things that were going on in my life. But I don't know. But it's almost time for the Proud Family to come on. So, like, look, I'm going to give you more about me and my stories and my life, whatever, <laughs> and the shit that be going on with me tomorrow. Catch you later. This is your boy, Dewey Man Martin. <laughs> and you're going to catch me tomorrow. <laughs> I'm goofy as hell, I know. <laughs> That's the liquor talking. Bye bye.